This is Dan and Andy. They're best friends and the founders of Hudson Daniel Gourmet. And they're on a journey to find the best makers of craft food and beverage products the world has to offer. This is Meet Your Maker. Season 1, California Road Trip. Our first stop is Cliff Family Kitchen and Tasting Room in beautiful St. Helena. Gary Erickson and Kit Crawford, the founders of the wildly popular Cliff Bar, brought their food and wine adventures from Italy to their hometown in Napa Valley. We start the day out at their property, high atop Howell Mountain, to see firsthand how they produce food sustainably and responsibly. Hi, you must be Drew. I am. Hi, Dan Casera. Welcome. Nice to meet Andy you. Nice Andy. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's take a tour. Excellent. Great. We actually call this Chef's Garden. So we have some more apple trees and fruit trees up here. Um, we've got a citrus grove that we just planted behind us here. So this is a, a test plot of Oaxacan green corn. We wanted to see how it grows. This is traditional in Oaxaca for like a tortilla corn. Above the grapes here, we've got all our peppers. So you can see these two blocks here are all peppers for the most part. These are lemon drop peppers that we're gonna be picking and making into a pepper sauce. That lemon drop is a good name for it. It's got that uh, kind of tangy, citrusy aftertaste, but it's pretty blow your mouth off hot. So this is a Jimmy Nardello. You can see just like, ooh, that long, Look at that bad boy. beautiful, <laughs> And it looks hot, but it's pure sweet. These ones don't have a drop of heat in them. Okay. Give it a try. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's really good. It's so fresh. Oh, that's delicious. Within this orchard, we've got peaches, plums, nectarines, pears, apples, and pluots. This is called an Indian freestone peach. Oh, Ooh, wow. bright red in the middle. Ooh. So the peach jelly actually came out red. That is incredible. It has sort of a, sort of a, it's sweet, but it sort of has a gritty mm -hmm. sort of taste to it. This is delicious. All right, let's go up and Excellent. take a look inside the bee boxes. Oh, there we go. This is terrifying. Oh. I, I can't feel my heart racing. <laughs> I will appreciate honey much more after this. I think you will. Okay. You can't see it, but I'm sweating my ass <laughs> off in fear. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Okay, so that's a frame of honey that's ready to go. We survived. This frame will press out to about a half a gallon. I have an old apple press that puts a couple tons of force on the combs. The terroir of our property is expressed in this honey. There's peppers in here, basil, nectar, there's a variety of herbs that we grow. Down in the base of the uh, cups, there's like little bits of pollen, maybe a dead bee occasionally. <laughs> so you can see this one's got a lot of pollen in it. That's gonna be a real gritty bite. Oh, that's delicious. Like you said, it has a, a gritty taste to it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That is delicious. Oh God. Now that I've delighted your senses with some honey, uh, we're gonna go the other direction. We're gonna try some of our peppers. So this is our lemon drop pepper that we saw down there in the garden. This is on the Scoville units. This is in between a jalapeno and a habanero. Oh, you've, oh my God, this is hot. To me, this is a phenomenal pepper. You can taste the citrus though, it's good. Mm -hmm. Great to meet you. Gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thanks again for so coming up. Really appreciate your time, sir. Always appreciate Thank the you. help with the bees. After surviving the bees and a few hundred thousand scopoles, we're off to see where the farm's products get put to use at Cliff's Brisketteria, 
a kick-ass food truck serving up seasonal bites that showcase the flavors of the region, like their famed porchetta flatbread, which is a unique spin on the namesake Italian pork roast. Hi, John. Hi there. Andy Neiman, nice to meet you. Andy, nice Hi. to meet you. John Hi. McCall. Dan, nice, nice to meet you. you. So guys, welcome to Cliff Family Winery. You're just standing in front of our bruschetteria. So we have a nice uh, famed blue, or green food truck that we're going to basically show you how to prepare some bruschetta. So if you guys are ready to jump on, yeah, we can go on inside. Go ahead. <laughs> we're going to start basically just by grilling our bread. So we obviously, yeah. we have a local bakery just for us, just down the street that prepares this. It's a whole wheat sourdough. We'll basically grill out either side brush it with olive oil, and then uh, once it achieves some crust on either side, we'll brush it lightly with garlic. The pork head itself, we give it a dry cure of two days, so it's really well seasoned. You have the herbs, you have the red onions, treat it almost like a salad rather than just a protein. We're gonna actually uh, top this with a little pecorino romano. Touch of fennel pollen, which is already a little goes a long ways, and very, very aromatic. Just the uh, aioli that we also have as well. So while you guys are in here, you definitely have a piece. Salut. <laughs> Delicious, John. Mm -hmm. This, I guarantee you, this never gets old. Now that we've seen their farm to truck process, we sit down with John in their Velovino tasting room to try even more food and learn why he decided to take his talents to Cliff. To me, there is always this affiliation. If you're to be a winery chef, it's almost like you've, it's the next step before retirement, right? It's the easy way out of the kitchen and less stressful, clearly. And well, I wasn't necessarily really ready to throw in the towel per se, but then you sit down and do the interview and you know, I'm willing to explore my options. Um, after meeting uh, our general manager, Lindsay Gay, you start to learn a little bit about, oh, this is what they do, this is what they want to start. And you really start to understand the authenticity of what they do on a much smaller scale. It's a very small business. And I think even at the time that I started, almost four years ago, uh, we've since like doubled in size in terms of our staffing. So uh, it's, it's admirable to look around and be like, this is the team and we're supposed to, you guys do all this? No way. It's kind of contagious to know that everybody does it with a smile on their face and they're really not defeated. And like everybody has a genuine smile on their face. They must love their job. Let's talk about yeah. what, you've, what you've created. Yeah. These look amazing. So there's a lot of seasonal influence, as I had mentioned, from the farm. Uh, we also try to utilize as much of those items, but also provide some kind of excitement behind them. So uh, we'll start with the bruschettas. Uh, that's where we're known for. Uh, we have our Cliff Family Bruschetteria. So we already have the porchetta that we made in the truck. Obviously, this is from the guys who do this on a regular basis. Um, and here we have our uh, pomodoro. So uh, tomatoes, obviously, this time of year, everybody gets excited. Uh, for them as they basically release into the marketplace. So we have a miso and sesame dressing, really kind of enhance that umami uh, character, but also the savoriness of the tomatoes. Little radish, uh, some really thin sliced shiso over the top, which is a really refreshing herb to kind of counterbalance this rich, savory, and kind of sweet bruschetta uh, with some toasted sesame seeds and some cucumbers. Yeah, this is delicious. It's because it's, it, when you bite into it visually, you think it's going to taste like a standard sort of tomato basil bruschetta, but it doesn't actually taste that way at all. But yeah, definitely That's meant delicious. to be light and uh, refreshing, certainly in the heat of the summertime. John, thank you so much for your time today, and thank you for creating this amazing meal for us. We really enjoyed it. Well, thank you for having me. And it's great you. to meet the both of you. Oh, Dave and Andy, thanks for coming by. After filling up on great food, we meet general manager Lindsay Gay and head winemaker Laura Barrett to drink some of Cliff Family's signature wines and taste jams made straight from their farm's produce. Welcome to the Cliff Family Tasting Room. I'm responsible for um, all of the wines that we make from grape to bottle. So I oversee all of the viticulture at our estate vineyards, um, as well as the grower relationships that we have with other growers in the Napa Valley that we purchase grapes from. I want to hear from a winemaker. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what is the proper way to go wine tasting? There's no right or wrong way to wine taste. We have people coming in here that have never tasted wine before, and that is perfectly okay. We're here also to be educators as much as to provide a fun, you know, interesting experience. Stick your nose in the right. glass. Okay. You're doing it right. You know, try not to pour it on you. Am I tasting peach here? It has a peachy sort of... Absolutely. Peach okay. is a great descriptor for this, especially this vintage. I'm here. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have a little Cabernet to share with you today. Awesome. This is our 2014 Cold Springs Cabernet. So with red wine, you get a lot more darker fruit, plum, a little bit of spice. Because you have an, the oak influence, we use all French oak barrels. Um, you'll pick up some of that spice factor from, from the oak. I can't even describe what it tastes like. That is wonderful. Like, we need that. <laughs> we need that in our house. I know. <laughs> I would say 
almost mixed, mixed strawberry. Hey, today was thank amazing. You. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, this is going to be an incredibly memorable day, and we're just so grateful that you guys. Well, we had fun with you, so thank, thank you. So you. So thank you for joining us. <laughs> yeah. We end a great day discovering what Cliff's farm-to-truck-to-table model truly means with one last drink at Napa's renowned Oxbow Market and begin planning our next stop. Thank you for watching the premiere episode of Meet Your Maker. Stay tuned for a buzzworthy bonus scene. And in the comment section, why don't you tell us, what's the hottest pepper you've ever eaten? What's your deal, man? Okay. <laughs> Not today, B! Give me a hug, B! <laughs>